2019 to 2018. So close to our final rankings. We've had this happen before with big time players. James Cook reclassified from 2019 to 2018, but he did that a full year before we were done with the rankings. So for Daniels to do it right before our final evaluation, for Daniels to get into the U.S. Army All-American Bowl and get to compete against the best, uh, I've never seen this happen before. And he's a special enough prospect for us to put him in our top five uh, because he balled out at, at Army. Um, there was some discussion as to whether he should be the number two quarterback in this class ahead of Justin Fields, who didn't get to participate in the Under Armour game. There was some discussion about how he went throw for throw, uh, at least through practice again on different teams with Trevor Lawrence um, and just how special this guy is. Um, JT Daniels brings a lot to the table. He's not the tallest quarterback in the world, but he has arm strength and tremendous downfield touch. I don't think you're going to see a quarterback over the last few years that throws a prettier ball downfield and fits the ball right where it needs to be. He drops it from a helicopter right onto the fingertips of his, of his uh, uh, target. He's obviously built a great chemistry with Amon Ross St. Brown. But he's a guy that can fit it into any spot with any receiver. Uh, we saw him hook up with Amon Ra throughout the week. We saw him hook up with him in the game itself. But it wasn't just St. Brown that he was completing passes to. I like his mechanics. They're short. Uh, he releases the ball quickly. I like his footwork. I like his feel in the pocket. He can tuck and run. He doesn't look like a super athletic guy, but he can tuck and run. He can gain yardage. But he's got that pocket feel that's really hard to teach. I, I don't want to compare anybody to Tom Brady, but when I talk about pocket feel, that's what I mean. A guy that just knows where the rush is coming from, keeps his eyes downfield, slides right, slides left, moves up when he has to, bounces outside when he has to, can throw the ball on the run, uh, just never feels that pressure and seems to have the ability to throw with accuracy, which is the most important thing about Daniel's game, is his ball. It comes out perfectly and it is on point. He, he always seems to lead his receiver or put him in a good position where he's going to get the football and continue to run or gain yardage after the catch. Or his back shoulder throws are very accurate. Or he'll actually throw the ball behind the receiver when he realizes the coverage is in front. Um, and he just has a great knack for accuracy. His footwork is excellent. His balance is, is proper. Everything about this kid screams he had to move up to the 2018 class. He was just going to waste his time in high school for another year. He's done everything he could uh, at Modern Day. Now he's ready to take on college football, and he showed out with the guys at the Army Bowl. So it was a very interesting ranking for us. Again, I've never As had the Trojans beat out Michigan, Stanford, and Washington for his services, and it really gives the Trojans uh, the next best thing in, in high school football in terms of a quarterback. Uh, Sam Darnold is beloved by the USC fans. I believe JT Daniels will follow in those footsteps, uh, be a big-time Heisman contender, put up huge numbers in that offense. He is just so skilled beyond his years. It's hard to believe he's only going to be a junior in high school. He put up huge numbers as a sophomore at Modern Day in an offense that is not really easy to run. He has incredible arm talent. He can get the ball all over the field. But what I really like most about him uh, is his ability to really break down offenses. Be like that. Well, Daniels lets it go for his man. Modern Day to Modern Day for a USC touchdown. So third and seven, is that where Daniels is looking? No, he's going deep for Sydney, and he's got him inside the 20. Oh, here comes big pressure on Daniels. He stands in, he fires it down the field for Pittman, who adjusts and makes the catch. Feeling the best that he has in his five years here. On second and long, Daniels well protected, given time to take a shot. He's got Pittman, who makes the catch. Inside the 15 for a gain of 45. And now SC faced with some adversity again, down 10-7. And the true freshman, Daniels, unloading it downfield. Pulled in inside the 35 by Bayless Jones. The first and goal from the 10-yard line. And Daniels to the end zone, back shoulder. What a catch by Bonds. Touchdown, SC. What else was going on the offensive line? First and 20, play fake for Daniels, throwing it into the end zone. It's caught.
gut wrenching. You know, you, you see a kid that's poured so much into the game and into this team and into his um, uh, becoming better, uh, both physically, mentally, uh, as a as a quarterback. Um, and you know, said a prayer as soon as I saw it, and, and I'm hoping that we get the get the best results tomorrow. We'll see where it lies. They kept fighting. Fight on is the uh, is the war cry out there in Los Angeles. And Coach Helton mm. started the year, look, with, with shaky ground beneath him. And then JT Daniels gets hurt. He's done for the year. Their next five games are brutal. What's your sense of how they can kind of weather the storm that feels inevitable in Los Angeles? I mean, imagine your own fan base, part of your own fan base, is cheering against you because they, they want a potential change with the head coach. And now – you lose your guy. You lose JT Daniels, who last year was a freshman, made some mistakes, but showed enough to get you excited about where he could be this year with all of his receivers returning, and then to lose him in the opening week. And now you go to another freshman. They played with a true freshman yep. last year, and now you got to play with another true freshman. So um, I don't know if you have it up, but their next five games, I don't care who they had at quarterback. We do. It was going to be a grind. You know, it, it's going to be tough for them to uh, be able to get through that. And with all the pressure on Lynn Swan and Clay Helton, who's one of the good guys in the business, you wonder where they're going to be standing by the time they get to week six and if they have even a, a chance to be having a, a winning record at that point. I'm with you. Let me close with this. Uh, listen, the SEC's depth cert certainly could be questioned after we... Why do we force her? So that we can learn to pick ourselves up. You could not live with your own failure. Where did that bring you? Back to me. Ms. Wong. Daniels. Now, I have gotten a... I can't even tell you how many messages... I have gotten, uh, or, or whatever, or what do you think about JT Daniels? Now, I did have a live show, I guess, the day this news was announced or became official or whatever, so I talked a little bit about it on there, but basically, I was like, Little, I don't know that much about JT Daniels, you know? I know he was a five-star out of high school, and a lot of people wanted him. Um, I know he graduated a year early from high school and was like the first or maybe only the second true freshman to ever start as quarterback. Uh, it's Southern Cal, a season opener, blah, blah, blah. I get all that. It's sort of a Jake Bentley situation, if you guys remember that. Uh, Jamoke from South Carolina, same type of thing. Doogie Hauser situation, grad graduation a year early, starting in the SEC at the age of 17 or whatever he was. JC Daniels, similar kind of thing. He went to that modern day, uh, just a private, it's a football factory, basically. I think that's the one in Las Vegas. Anyway, goes to Southern Cal, starts out uh, as a true freshman, starts. Sports related, we have a good time. Today, we need to talk about JT Daniels and what looks like growing interest toward joining the Georgia Bulldogs. My goodness, did not see that one coming. Now, just for folks that need I'm to... I'm coming home, I'm coming home. Tell the world I'm coming home. Let the rain wash away all the pain of yesterday. I know my kingdom awaits and they've forgiven. So yeah. strong, man. Yeah. I'm back. I'm man. feeling like there's nothing I can't try. Yeah. And if you with me, put yeah. your hands high. Put your hands high. You've been lost a life before. Hey. This one's and if for you, me, put your hands high. high. The dreams are filled. Yeah. You're rocking with the best. Yeah. I'll be on the song. I hear the tears of a clown. Uh, I hate that song. I always feel like they're talking to me when it comes on. Come on. Another day, another dawn. Another Keisha, nice to meet you, get the mad if I'm gone What am I supposed to do when the club lights come on? It's easy to be puffed, but it's harder to be shown What if my twins ask me why I ain't married in mom? Damn, how do I respond? What if my son stares with a face like my own And says he wants to be like me when he's grown? Shit, but I ain't finished grown Another night, the inevitable prolong Another day, another dawn Come on Tell Keisha and Teresa I'll be better in the mold Another lie that I carry on I need to get yeah. back to the place I belong I'm coming home I'm coming home I'm coming home Let the rain wash away All 
Check this out. A house is not a home. I hate this song. Is a house really a home when your loved ones is gone? No. And niggas got the nerve to blame you for it. And you know you would've took the bullet if you saw right. it. But you felt it and still feel it. And money can't make up for it. All can steal it. But you deal with it. And you keep ballin'. That's why I some lick the playboy and we keep ballin'. Baby, we've been living in sin Cause we've been really in love But we've been living as friends yeah. So you've been a guest in your own home It's time to make your house yeah. your own Pick up I'm the phone I'm coming home, I'm coming home Tell the world that I'm coming home Stopping us now. I love that song whenever it comes on, it makes me feel strong. I thought I told you that we won't stop till we won't stop. back cruising through Harlem. These old blocks is what made me, saved me, drove me crazy, drove me away, then embraced me, forgave me for all of my shortcomings. Welcome to my homecoming. Yeah, it's been a long time coming. A lot of fights, a lot of scars, a lot of bottles, a lot of cars, a lot of ups, a lot of downs. Made it back, lost my dog. But here I stand, a better man. A better man. Stop. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you guys.